ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. It's almost that time of year again, Christmas has come around once again, almost 2016. So I've got a little Christmassy uh, tutorial for you, and this is how to create some low poly presents. So we're just going to be covering the basics of modelling the different shapes. So, let me just go to a new layer. Go into front view and orthographic mode, and we're going to add in a cube. The first thing we're going to do to our cube is go into edit mode, select our top vertices, extrude, and then select them again using B, hit E, click again, and scale out. And then I'm just going to select the bottom two and pull down a bit. Bit too big, but there, that's better now. The next thing I'm going to do is just add a basic material, and then I'm going to go into to top mode, hit go into edit mode, wireframe mode, and subdivide, and go to face select. I'm just going to get my brush, which is C, and I'm just going to select Coming down here, and go back here, I don't know why there's two, what the hell, ah. Oh. There we go, sorry. So we're selecting here, I accidentally clicked Shift D. We're selecting our faces here and we want to add a new material and just click Assign. You can make the ribbon as large or small as you like. Now, so now we've got that basic component done, we're going to do the bow. To do the bow, I like adding in a plane, scaling it on the y-axis and the x-axis to get a shape like that. I'm then going to go into edit mode and select this edge here. I'm then going to lock... Um, snapping, I'm going to put on snapping, and I'm just going to extrude a shape. You can turn it off now, and I'm just going to pull in my other edge so it matches. The next step is to get left click so your 3D cursor appears here. Select that object again and hit Control Shift Option C and then click Origin to 3D cursor. We're then going to add a modifier, we're going to add a mirror modifier and see how they're not touching yet, that means our 3D cursor needs to be more over. So I'm just going to move it more over, select the object, Control shift option c Origin again, and now they're clipping. 
clip clipping and apply. We're then going to add a solidify modifier just to make it a solid shape. And that's pretty good. Apply that. The next thing we're going to add is we're going to shift D to duplicate it, then rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees. Go into top mode and just position it like so. Then we're just going to move it on top, make it a bit bigger. We're then also then going to add an icosphere and we're going to add a decimate, apply, lift it up, scale, move it across. And we're just going to add that material. And that is how I make my low poly presence. It's very simple. I'm just going to flatten these quickly. That is how I make my low poly presence. I'm sure there's more tutorials to come. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.